Meanwhile, here in Sacramento, calls for change continue to grow louder in the wake of Tyree Nichols' death. ABC 10's Alicia Machado is live in the studio tonight after attending a vigil and discussion here in Sacramento in Tyree's honor. Yeah, Chris, Laura, we heard from graduates and professors tonight about this topic. They're calling for criminal justice reforms, including an end to racial profiling and changes to use of force policies. They're saddened to have to think about the families who have lost loved ones over the past several years. Communities in mourning, grieving the loss of Tyree Nichols from Sacramento to Memphis, Tennessee. The 29-year-old who grew up in Sacramento was beaten by five Memphis police officers last month and died days later. It's a bit overwhelming and, and, and tiring to have to explain to yourself violence. McGeorge School of Law in Sacramento holding a discussion and vigil in honor of Tyree Wednesday evening. Attendees trying to process what happened and heal as they held candles standing together in his memory and also pushing for change. The kind of healing that we would like to see would be an end to violence. Isaiah Crockren graduated with a Juris Doctorate from the McGeorge School of Law. Recalling at the vigil the case of Philando Castile, who was fatally shot by police in Minnesota during a traffic stop in 2016. We went from 2016 to 2019 with no real change. Not in gun violence, not in police use of force, not in Sacramento, not in Tennessee. As we know, pretextual stops haven't just led to the death of Tyree Nichols. That is the leading cause for Philando Castile, Sandra Bland, countless individuals. Speakers calling for legislation to put an end to racial profiling. And in Memphis, at a funeral for Tyree. For this to happen to him is just unimaginable. Vice President Kamala Harris calling for Congress to pass the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act aimed at use of force reform and ending profiling. Was he not also entitled to the right to be safe? So when we talk about public safety, let us understand what it means in its truest form. Tyree Nichols should have been safe. Now, vigil for Tyree will also be held this Saturday at Skate, Ra Skate Ramp rather, on Franklin Boulevard. Mm -hmm. Of course, we'll have the impact of this funeral being held on the first day of Black History Month. We'll talk about that later in the show. But Alicia, we thank you for that report.